Welcome back. Now we bring you tips on fashion. Fashion, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, it's something that one has to be very careful, especially when you are wearing something during the day and something going to walk. If you're going to walk, you have such special dresses that you should use for walk, special dresses that you should use for casual and even for evenings. So they all have their different types of uh, uh, dresses and how you dress, even the earrings, your jewelries. It depends on you know what type of occasion you are going, whether you are going to walk or you are going to a casual dinner, a uh, casual function, or you are going to dinner or reception. They all have their different ways of dressing. Can you tell us what to wear during the day? During the day, it depends on the season. It's seasonal. If it is in the hot season, Maybe one could wear something light, a little bit colorful, but the colorful materials depending on where you're going. If you're going to walk, I would not advise to use colorful materials, at least dress like a light brown, you know, light colors look executive, you know, when you're going to office. It's different from when you are at home. When you are, hot, you, when you are at home, you wear something different. At least you wear any kind of light materials like this ball, cotton, wax. We all use them in, during the day. It depends on how and where you're going to use it for. What about for uh, uh, going to parties? What kind of dress do you wear for parties? Parties, you have different uh, parties. Some parties are just like uh, if you want to dress very well going to parties, you have your different types of, uh, you have, you can use this dye machine that we call Ganilla. We embroid it with beaded, beaded, you know, with beadings. Some of them you can use the evening uh, perlage with sequins. It depends on uh, the occasion. Some occasions, really, they are, is you could wear nice evening dresses with no, you know, it shouldn't be so that flashy. You know, S people should uh, see how best they can dress, look nice without, you know, using that extra, extra colors or extra flashy uh, material. It depends on what they want to wear. Some like really simple and simple fashion or simple type of material some like colors flashy colors it depends on your taste but each and every occasion have its own you know way of dressing and uh, you spoke about matching earrings shoes and so on what kind of earrings do you think people should wear and it's always good to dress too much if you can afford it because it's very expensive to dress too much but if you can afford it, sometimes it's not even very expensive. You can have your simple beads, that, the beaded collar that would go with the, you, you know, you could check the earrings that you wear with the matching materials or the embroidered in the clothes. It depends on it. So you could always mix and match colors. It depends on which type of colors or which type of material you are using. But it's always advisable to dress too much, if it is possible. Yeah, sometimes you see people wearing this big and flashy earrings that do, does not suit the face. So what kind of advice do you have for those kind of people? I think each and every person should look him or herself in the mirror before going out. Because you can judge yourself. Whatever you wear, sometimes I use even advice, don't look at what is fashionable. Look what fits you. Because sometimes what is fashionable will not fit you. So what, you, what for me, really, for example, I feel confident in what really suits me. I don't look at fashion. Fashion, sometimes you can check fashion and then see how best you can adjust it until it fits your taste and fits your body. Because each and everyone has different ways of wearing uh, fashion. But always, my advice is always make sure you wear what suits you. And uh, what about the heels? What kind of heels? Because sometimes you see people wearing low heels with very long attires or so. What kind of heels suits African attires especially? African attires, really, high heels are very good in it because you look, you look comfortable when you wear high, high heels. But nowadays, not everybody wants to, you know, health-wise, it's not as advisable to some. But when you're talking about fashion, at least when you wear something nice and you know that it's really nice, you will, you will need to have at least a little bit of high heels, not like slippers. Flat slippers would not really bring up 
what you will want to see yourself, you know. You will prefer to wear a little bit high, not too high, but a at least a little bit high. At least you'll be comfortable. As a fashion designer, uh, what advice do you have to give to people in sense of dressing? Everybody should look nice every day. Every day you should try and make sure that you look neat and nice, not necessarily that we are something expensive. Materials here in the Gambia, we have very cheap materials. It depends on how and where you're going to wear it. But what is important is always look neat. Even this simple material, this wax, they're costing 150, 200, 250, they're all cheap. But if you wear them, you know, if you sew them nicely, it's, 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 it's good. What is important is just dress neat and make sure that, you know, you have your matching colors or matching bags and make it simple. It's not very good to be flashy all the time. But although sometimes you want to dress, you know, dress very well, but during the day, really, wear something different, at least some simple, nice, neat, you know, always looking neat. It's always good to, to, be, uh, to be neat. And what's your last word? Well, advise everybody to be looking good, looking neat, and then make sure that at least, let me give you, there is one tip I want to give. You know, sometimes you have your grand booba that you wear all the time. Sometimes we don't wear it always. But in the event that you have one material, gown that you wear all the time, you can always change it to gown, long gown instead of grand booba, because you cannot wear grand booba all the time. But you can change it as, you know, as a fashion designer, I always change my grand booba to long dress. We call it rubber, long dress, that you can embroider it at least, and then, you know, change the grand booba to long dress, that you can always wear again for a long time before. You can always change your old clothes even. You can wear some, for example, the, these ones, you can wear them, if you are tired with it, you can change it and make it another You know, you wouldn't waste your material like, I wear this for two, three times, I'm not going to wear it again. No, 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 no. You can change it and then uh, design it and then sew it another thing and it will look different. So these are all tips that one could at least manage with your wardrobe or so. Well, that's all we had time for in this edition of the Women magazine. Hope you had a nice time. If so, do join us next week when we'll bring you another edition. Till then, it's bye from me. Yeah, be. 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 Y